Some of the finest Lynx courses in the northwest of England recently staged local qualifying for the 141st Open Championship at Royal Leatherman St Anne's. Today we have the uh, local final qualifying for the Open Golf Championship at Royal Leatherman St Anne's at the end of July. Uh, we have four venues, Hillside, Southport and Ainsdale, uh, West Lynx and St Anne's Old Lynx. And we've got 288 players trying to qualify for three spots at each venue, 12 in total. For many of these, uh, particularly club professionals and top amateurs, this is the last chance to get into the open field at Royal Leatherman St Anne's and really play with the, uh, the big stars of the golf stage. The field across all venues was made up of established tour players, club professionals and top amateurs. And the four courses have all staged open qualifying in the past. At West Lancashire Golf Club, the 2005 US Open champion Michael Campbell was the star attraction. But after rounds of 71 and 73 for a level par total, he was several shots off the qualifying score. It was fellow Kiwi Steve Alka who led the qualifiers at West Lanx with a seven under par total, and he showed a lovely touch on the tricky and quick greens. Alka played alongside 16-year-old amateur Bobby Keeble, who finished a handful of shots off the pace, but in a commendable tie for 10th. The Essex youngster shot 71 and 72 to finish at one under par. The two other players to qualify from West Lanx were American Scott Pinckney and Scotsman Stephen O'Hara. Their Lytham berths were secured through a playoff at the expense of Welsh amateur Richard Bentham and first round leader American Marty Jertson. At all four venues, some excellent crowds were in force and they were treated to some fine golf. At Hillside, the three qualifiers were all Englishmen. Stephen Tiley will make his third open appearance. Low amateur at the 1994 Open, Warren Bennett, will make his fifth appearance. And top of the pile at Hillside, with an impressive nine under par total, was Dale Whitnell. The 23-year-old, who lost in a playoff in last year's local final qualifying, will make his debut in this year's championship. I mean, playing in a major championship for the first time is always going to be someone's highlight, isn't it? Um, but obviously, hopefully I'll go well. I've got good, uh, good uh, memories of Lytham as well, so playing the Lytham Trophy there as an amateur was uh, finishing second as well. But, so I'm looking forward to it. Some notable names to miss out, though, were the 2011 amateur champion, Bryden McPherson, who triumphed at Hillside last year, alongside two Ryder Cup stalwarts from the past. Peter Baker finished in a tie for eighth, and 1999 Ryder Cup captain Mark James finished just outside the top 20. Along the coast, however, at St Anne's Old Links, two of their peers did qualify with Paul Broadhurst heading the qualifiers with a seven under total and Barry Lane going through a shot behind. Argentina's Rafael Echenique was the third to successfully gain entry to Lytham. Southport and Ainsdale was the last of the venues to complete the qualifying process late into the evening, but it was not to be a fruitful day for local favourite Nick Doherty. The three-time European Tour winner from Liverpool shot a 70, then a 74 for a level par total and ultimately finished eight shots off the winning score. It was Danish player Morten Orem Madsen who achieved that total after rounds of 65 and 71. The 24-year-old who plies his trade on the Challenge Tour couldn't quite believe that he'd booked a tea time for the Open Championship. This is my first Open, yeah, first time I tried to qualify as well, so uh, I had no expectation that I'd come this far this fast, so, I mean, I can't wait to get there. Madsen was clear of the field by two shots. Behind him, at six under, was Chris Doak, who had the misfortune of finishing double bogey-bogey to make that mark. He was later joined by local man Ian Keenan, one of the professionals at Royal Liverpool. In one of the final groups and playing the last, Elliot Saltman knew he had to make a birdie to join the pair on six under. And his sweetly struck eight iron secured that birdie and his place in the playoff. Once in the playoff, Ian Keenan all but secured his ticket to Lytham with a great tee shot. Especially after Chris Doak's effort found trouble. It left Keenan and Saltman requiring a par each, which they both managed, and left Doak ruining his costly finish in regulation play. <laughs> There's no doubt. I've ended this since '97, and uh, I've been close a couple of times, but uh, I just had a good feeling. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant.
Okay. So at five past nine in the evening, the 12 names were decided, and those qualifiers will line up alongside 144 other competitors at Royal Leatherman St Anne's from the 19th to the 22nd of July.